coming at you with day five of the How Not to Die Smoothie Challenge. If you haven't heard of Dr. Gregor and you haven't heard of his book, How Not to Die, I highly recommend you pick up a copy. In this book, he outlines the 12 things we need to eat or do every single day to maximize our health and reduce our risk for chronic disease. So on this list of things we need to eat and do every day, many of them are nutrition related. And what we've been doing here on this show is we've been packing the Vitamix full of our daily dozen foods, all of them, and we're getting them down in one go, in one go. Now, of course, he recommends you spread them out throughout the day, but we're just showing you how healthy you can get in such a quick amount of time. Again, this is day five. If you haven't checked out the other four parts, go ahead and check them out. If you're following along, part four, oh my goodness gracious, I got that half gallon in in like 10 minutes and that was very, very painful. I was feeling bad and I'm, I'm sort of having this struggle now because I love smoothies, I love health, and I don't want to turn people off to the idea because I'm trying to suck down a half gallon of smoothie. But, you know, this is just an awesome challenge. I'm having so much fun with it. The possibilities are endless. Every day there's a different combination of fruits and vegetables. And so I'm, over the last few days, I've had a lot of transformation in terms of the way I see food. Reading his book along with doing these smoothies, even though I'm really familiar with a lot of his work for years prior. Reading that book, setting it into stone, having that commitment and doing these smoothies, uh, you know, I'm consuming less junk food, I'm eating less sweets, uh, there's so much food piled up in the fridge because I'm just not hungry to eat it all because I'm, I'm filling up on the good stuff. And it's really has changed my mindset in terms of how I see food and how food interacts with my body and the benefits of it. And it's um, it's hopefully I, I carry carry these benefits and this positive mindset forward after the 12 days. So here we go. I know that there's definitely some tips in here that you'll find helpful. I know that I have found them very helpful. Let's go ahead and make this smoothie and get it down. I'm going to preface this and say that this is not going to be a time trial like it was yesterday. I tried to get that smoothie down real quick and I wasn't feeling too good, but we're going to go ahead and get this smoothie down for you no matter how long it takes. Let's get this done. So, first on his list, well let's go from the bottom, okay? Whole grains, three servings. I'm running out of servings here, so we've got three slices of whole grain bread. I really, really need to pick up some more oatmeal and make some rice, but we're making this do in a pinch. Spices, quarter teaspoon of turmeric. So, in my fancy little bowl here, I've got my turmeric. You see that orange powder on top? Okay, in here I also have a quarter cup of nuts. Actually, I put the nuts here in the bottom. Uh, you can kind of hear them down there. We've got uh, a tablespoon of ground flaxseed, or of just a flaxseed that will be ground in the blender. We have some um, broccoli back here we're going to do for our cruciferous vegetables. In here we have um, a half a cup of berries for two servings, and we have two bananas, so that'll be our four servings of fruit. And then we also have a cup and a half of lentils, which will be our three servings of beans. So let's go ahead, blend this up, and see how we do. Oh, man. So much health in this smoothie. So much health. Oh, my God. I've come to realize that this Vitamix is perfect for fitting in the entire daily dozen. Uh, let's see what else can we put in here, huh? What else can we do? Vegetable wise, here we go. You know we dig some kale on this channel. We got some, some kale here. Let's go ahead and put a uh, little bit of that in here. Woo! This is gonna be a good one. I'm gonna go ahead, folks and call that pretty good. Let's go ahead, blend this up, suck it down, and get extra healthy this morning. It's Sunday, we've got a lot we need to accomplish today, and 
you know that my stance on being healthy is paramount to anything you want to do. Whoever you are, whatever career you have, whatever you want to accomplish in life, you can't do it when you're sick, you can't do it when you're unhealthy. And so making health the foundation of how you live makes uh, you so much more productive and effective uh, in your personal life, in the things that you want to accomplish, your goals, and in your career. So let's go ahead, blend this smoothie, and get it in. As always, yes, I'm in my pajamas, the infamous kale eating dog. Here, here, buddy. Hey, eat the kale. Eat the kale. Eat the kale. Eat the kale. You know, he needs a little doggy bits, but you know, he does it. Look at that. Eat that kale. See that? Even the dog eat the kale. Come on, he loves it. He loves it. Eat that kale. Yeah. Even that dog's getting healthy. His dog is getting healthy. Alright. Let's go ahead and do this. Today, I'm going to use the tamper because you know I've been struggling. There's so much stuff in here. We're challenging the Vitamix. Let's go ahead and add our water. He's eating more kale on the floor. This is another big one. We're looking at 62 ounces of purple smoothie, purple green smoothie. It's got a really great color to it, part of it because of the berries that are in there and the kale. Uh, it's just got this great, great color to it. Here it is. Got my towel. Let's do this day five of the challenge. We're almost halfway there. Done. Ah. 